Oh, oh I love that. I mean, well, it's and like you are a designer. Design so it looks like it would be in a book. Yeah. Oh, it probably is. <laughs> but it, but it looks like it would cost you maybe a thousand dollars to consult with a designer who then would take down your ideas, maybe sort of get a sense of your personality. You would say, I want something crisp, but I want something fresh and I want something that's classic, but still elegant. And Oh, and I want it to be um, $109. They'd be like, oh, well, I got all the other part, but not, <laughs> but not, not that $109. Let's not back that up here. Price. No, not that price. It doesn't look at all like $109. This is beautiful. It's, a, it, it's great. And I love the fact that, again, you, there's always the detail here with India Hicks. Look at that. I love the way I say that as me standing here. There's always the detail of India Hicks. Uh, <laughs> but there is. We really think about this. And again, you know, I, I sit here in the studios at HSN, and it is so rewarding to actually see the best collections come to life because the amount of time and effort that we go into in the big design meetings where we're talking about just the right kind of navy blue just the right texture just the right feel to these again the weight of this is very important for me uh, the fact that this looks so good on the bed I've even used these as tablecloths as nutty as that sounds <gasps> no, in the evening like and again in my book you'll see idea. pictures of our big long table on the terrace and we've taken this and used it as a tablecloth because it is so incredibly easy to put in the washing machine you're not going to be disappointed with it what's mm. nice is we're seeing the sear circle underneath so we've got the double stripe here mm -hmm. and I think that looks really pretty too the paler on the underneath and then the stronger blue on the top here but this is the Grove Garden and I, I was brought up in England um, in the Oxfordshire countryside and my father had this wonderful very romantic walled garden there there is my father uh, with me on the horse and in this amazing garden uh, he built a uh, the, around the idea of planting all of these very beautiful English uh, roses, uh, rose and peonies. And, of course, he thought that my sister and I were going to get engaged in this garden. Well, that unfortunately Aww. never happened. Uh, but you're seeing there the different colours. So the Grove Garden, we've now come off the island. We're now in England. We're now in the Oxfordshire mm. countryside. It's a warm summer's day. You can smell the mown grass. You can smell the rose and peony petals. Oh, and this that. is exactly what we're bringing here to you right now. So, again, we're telling all these different stories, but they're very much a part of my life, my British heritage, a bit of my island story, but right here now we've got the Grove Garden, so we're in the English countryside. Mm, I love that. Well, now, this is this is the only place that we can get this. I mean, it, this, is the, this is exclusive here. I know we yeah. talked about is if a designer came to your home, they might come up with this, but only designer India Hicks brings it to you via HSN. Yeah. This is the only place that you can get this incredible look. So we have it in the blue this, that you can see just lovely on the bed. And then we also have it in the pink, which is the this. pink and gray. And I love, I love this. I think this is such a soft, it's a very, very traditional English color, this. Um, mm. and, it, and it feels like, they, you know, when we say the English rose, there we go. And I love it with the gray there. I think it's very, very soft. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't think it's too incredibly girly. No. Um, I think it works well. It's just something that would be so easy in any bedroom. And again, we talked about the updating of a bedroom, and this would do it more than anything, this collection here. Absolutely. Then if you really like this look that you see on the bed, but you love the pink, Pink and the gray, you can get the seersucker in gray, and you can get the um, the paisley sheets in the gray as well. So you can have this entire look, but with the pink and the gray uh, flowers. And then we also have, um, yeah, so beautiful. Then we also have this is called coral, and so this is coral and kind of that sand color. Beautiful. Now, and when you is, see this all decked out on a bed, this is a gorgeous attention and, getting back. And the, uh, the, the, the coral I've done for those of you that love color, because when I first came to HSN, I said, I'm not at all about color. I like all the understated, um, are the understated colors that aren't really colors. And slowly, slowly, as my time's gone on with HSN, I've begun to really embrace color and really understand that there is a place for color and that mm. there's also an audience who love color. Mm -hmm. So that bright coral there is definitely for those of you out there who love color. So have a look at it. Um, see if that's going to suit you in your bedroom because I think there's so much that you could do with that. Just with a crisp white sheet, that's going to be very, Ooh. very pretty there. 
That's a Look, great it looks so idea. good on the camera. I love that. And if you really want to match as well, we have uh, we have the sand sheet and we even have coral sheets. That Absolutely. Might, you know, I mean, that's a lot. But if you wanted an extra, you know, Absolutely. maybe an extra, an extra. Um, Look how lovely that is. That's so pretty there. in that in the coral and, and then again, beautiful that's with the gray nice even. Too. You know, they Gorgeous. work so well. Mm -hmm. So, have so a this look. is the sand sheet, yeah. and this is gray. I mean, they're just you. And as we said before, you just can't go wrong with any of the colors. We'll pull that up for you at the bottom. Oh, there it is. This cotton sheet set, which is ten dollars off. Oh, and again, white you know, of course, any of them. I beautiful. always love white. I always think that the white works well with anything. Um, and look how nice that is. It just makes it feel very, very, mm. very fresh. That. You see, I would Beautiful. do that. That's yeah. so pretty there. I love it. And if, you, if you're if you just getting one color, maybe you don't have a good cotton sheet set. This is a good white cotton sheet. This is going to be your favorite white cotton sheet because you don't need to baby it. You put it in the washing machine, it looks just as beautiful, but it is 100% cotton. It's got the perfect amount of sateen almost. It's not That's shiny, right. it doesn't have a sheen. It just means that it feels like silk against your face. And when our sheets are really what touches our skin more than anything else. So you want your face to be on this beautiful pillowcase, but it's white. So maybe you went to bed without your makeup on. You also don't wanna have to really baby your sheets. This goes right in the washing machine, right in the dryer and you are good to go. So if you're thinking about maybe just trying out India Hicks, just cut, you cannot go wrong with this beautiful, pristine white. And then, of course, we recommend that you try any one of her other colors because they're each one, they're just, they're richly pigmented. Even, even the, the, what we think, you know, sometimes you think like, oh, it's a taupe sheet, but it's got, it's almost got a blush to it. It's, every color is so, it's and so again, special. You're, you're right. You know, we again. I talked about earlier about you know sitting in the design studio here with a team, really going through what are the colours that we want to bring. What are the colours that are going to tell my stories, those island stories, the British heritage stories. What are those colours going to be? And it, it it's it takes a long time to get to the right colour. We go through so many different swatches and dyes to get to the the place where I feel comfortable. That this is actually telling my story, mm -hmm. and that you're going to feel when you lie on these sheets, you're going to feel that you've been transported to that English garden or indeed mm. to the island. And that's really important for me. We want to stand apart as a company here. Um, there are so many wonderful things at HSM, but my sheets are going to transport you to a very different place. Oh, absolutely. Now, we wanted to mention some of the scenes, some of the things that you see here on the set. A lot of times you ask for them. You see these shelves here. Those are actually available on uh, HSM.com.